Hello, 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 and a very warm welcome to a brand new era of Sports Night. There's big changes to WTV, and this very studio is one of them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy a brand new, high-tech version of Sports Night. Welcome back to WTV News. There were two Warburg teams competing in Iowa Conference tournaments last week. We'll start off with volleyball. Now moving out of the Cedar Valley for a little high school football action. Yesterday, Don Bosco from Gilbertville was in action in Cedar Falls against Murray for the opening game of the eight-man state semifinals. The Dons ended up winning in overtime by a final score of 78 to 76. Yes, you heard that correctly. The final score was 78 to 76. The Dons quarterback, Jake Hogan, ran for four touchdowns, passed for three, ran for four two-point conversions, and passed for four two-point conversions to personally count for 58 of his team's points. Now Murray's quarterback, Austin Halls, passed for five touchdowns, ran for three, passed for five two-point conversions, and ran for two two-point conversions as he made up 62 of his team's points. So obviously some outstanding huge numbers from that game. This week our Athlete of the Week is junior cross-country runner Sam Reed. Reed finished in 12th place at the annual Dan Houston Invitational this weekend with a time of 25 minutes, 38 seconds. Sam also shattered his personal record by 29 seconds for the fourth place night. He will look to continue his success next weekend as the cross country team will travel to La Crosse, Wisconsin for a meet at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. With UD up 24 to 14, Schrader makes a beautiful pass to Eric Luch, who gets the TD, Knights down 24 to 21. Dubuque responded right away with their own touchdown, this one a run by Dakota Rundy. With a few minutes left in the game and the Knights down 31 to 27, Schrader finds Ruffridge in the end zone to give the orange and black the lead. And the Spartans had one more chance, but the kick goes wide right. Warper gets the huge homecoming victory by a final score of 34 to 31. Ryan Billings led the Knights D with nine total tackles. Logan Schrader recorded a career best 338 yards through the air and three touchdowns. Next up for Warburg is this Saturday when they travel to Coe College. Kickoff is set for 1 p.m. Welcome back to Good Morning Waverly. Joining me now is Waverly Shell Rock head football coach Mark Hubbard. Thanks for joining us this morning, Coach. Thanks for having me. What are your overall thoughts on the season so far? I tell you what, we've, uh, you know, we've had an up and down year. And unfortunately, right now, we're, we're on the way back up. Warper got things started right out of the gate as senior Brandon Cook takes the feed from Zubin Azari for the score. The Knights would strike again just minutes later as classmate Bob Brown puts one in in the back of the net for his first goal of the year. So we lead off tonight with all the highs and lows from Saturday's game. Luther jumped ahead of the Knights thanks to a powerful running game. It was 10-0 at the end of the first quarter. But the Knights rally with a field goal, and on the next drive, Schrader finds Logan Refridge deep down the sideline to set up first and goal. On the very next play, Schrader dumps it off to Kurt Ruska, and the senior bowls his way into the end zone. Extra point makes the score even at 10, going into halftime. Even though the football season is over for the local high school, some members of the Gridiron Gang did receive all-district honors. After finishing third in Class 3A, District 3, the Waverly Shell Rock Gohawks had 11 players earn all district honors, including 10 on the defensive side. The Gohawks led the district in allowing the least amount of yards, giving up only 1,967 yards. Some of the award winners include Dan Stenslin, Nathan Stegel, Alex Moore, Colin Wiltsey, Eric Willis, Bryce Miller, and on the offensive side, Josh Wright. Ramey Seek was named to the all-tournament team for her efforts. The Knights hit the court again on Wednesday on the road against Coe. On Friday, the women's soccer team hosted Central. It was senior night for the ladies, so let's see how they did. Kaylee Benning gets things started for the Knights here with a goal off a beautiful pass from Kathy Ryder. Orange and Black up 1-0 and it stayed that way going into halftime. In the second half, Warper gets one in here without doing much work. The central keeper knocks it in to give Warper the 2-0 advantage. It's officially the winter sports season and the area basketball teams have been very busy on the hardwood. We'll start with Waverly Shellrock. The boys' Gohawk team opened their season against Waterloo West on Tuesday. The team has high, high expectations for this season and the yellow and black did not disappoint in their first game. 
At the end of the first quarter, WSR trailed 16-12, but they took control of the game and never lost the lead again as they took this one 60-52. Welcome back to the studio. Joining me tonight is a woman who hasn't tasted defeat in a while, head coach of the volleyball team, Jennifer Walker. Thanks for joining us, coach. No problem. Okay, so the team is on a 12-game win streak. How does that feel? It's the craziest thing. Jumping ahead to the nail-biting fourth quarter, again it's Schrader connecting with Luft, who takes it all the way to put the Knights within 10. Right after that, Thompson gets into the end zone, cutting the lead to three. Warper goes for the onside kick here, and they get it. Obviously, obviously, the players are very pumped up. Faith seeing a fourth and two situation. Schrader tosses it to Thompson, who carries it 12 yards into the end zone, but a holding call will bring it back. The Knights weren't able to get in again, and they fall by a heartbreaking score of 31 to 28. Even though the Knights fell in this one, three new school records were set. Schrader set a new program record with his 405 passing yards, and that was also a new single game best for the team. The other record was a new school record for longest pass play, which occurred in the third quarter when Schrader launched it 85 yards to loop. The Orange and Black will end their season this Saturday at home against Loris. Senior day begins at 1 p.m. Welcome back. The Warper Cross Country men and women went and ran their own version of the Tough Mudder up in La Crosse, Wisconsin on Saturday. The men went out first this time around against a 26-team field. Sam Reed finished first for the Knights in 25 minutes, 50 seconds, earning 18th out of 460 competitors. Even with that many competitors injured, the men were still able to finish 13th. The Lady Knights took the field next, having to run in even muddier conditions. Alana and Nabnit won the race for the Knights in a blazing 21 minutes, 41 seconds. The women came in second overall to the University of Minnesota. With conference right around the corner, we asked Coach his thoughts about the upcoming race. Welcome back to Good Morning Waverly. It's currently 648, so let's talk sports. Last week it was homecoming for Denver and Janesville. The Denver Cyclones were taking on MFL Marmac. The Cyclones came out ready to play as Chase Shed and Elm picked off Brandon Burke's pass and he took it 59 yards for the first score of the game. Then on Denver's first offensive drive, QB Braden Neuendorf connected with wide receiver James Sparkman, who took it all the way, making it 14 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. The Cyclones wouldn't let up in this one, winning by a huge score of 68 to seven. With that win, Denver improves to three and three overall and two and one in the league. Tonight will be Denver's next test as they take on the Jessup Jayhawks at home. However, the Knights rallied back and got the win. Ramey Seek had two huge kills here in the first set. Bailey Wilson gets one of her team match high 10 kills here, and the Knights would roll on to the third set after winning the second easily 25 to 16. In the final set, the Duhawks stayed close till the very end. Loris's Kara Grant got a kill, which tied the set, and then Maddie Forsyth and the Knights pulled away as she records two kills. And you can catch those results tomorrow on Sports Night. We also sit down with Zubina Zari, who has been having a huge season. Sounds like it was a uh, pretty good week for athletics for the Knights here on uh, homecoming week. It was a great, we had a ton of victories. It was nice and it was good to see a big crowd out there for the football game this oh, week, see a huge win. The crowd was huge and they got so fired up at the end that it was there was so much energy in the stadium, it was awesome. It was a Thanks great. a lot Shelby. You're welcome.